is it if the Department of Justice sets a precedent with how they've indicted Donald Trump with document retention, is it up to Robert Hur to look at that precedent? Is there is the way the DOJ works where they just kind of do their own thing? Or is it that, hey, now that we indict a president based on, you know, document retention in this capacity, they would have to indict Joe Biden under the same thing. They keep him unguarded next to a Corvette in a garage. Yeah, the federal prosecution demands that you use the same prosecutorial standard uh, for different investigations. I think that's the whole purpose of having a federal, you know, criminal justice system. Uh, but that being said, we're going to see uh, if Rob ever does anything with that investigation, what standard he used. Now, remember, there is a memo that says you can't indict a sitting president. So that well, is there's also a memo saying branch. you don't go after candidates. So memos don't mean anything. You're right. There's uh, and there's you know the policy is also yeah. There's a window of time where you're not supposed to investigate or go after candidates. But you know we've obviously uh, crossed that Rubicon. And you know the, the President Trump case, I think uh, as a historical precedent is incredibly concerning. I think just as a matter of American jurisprudence, you know we are we're we're in a brave new world, and we're going to regret. I think our founding fathers would have certainly suggested that we're going to regret. Uh, this this position we find ourselves in uh, as this administration prosecutes Donald Trump. It's 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 outrageous. Uh, it's highly unnecessary. And I think it's inconsistent with uh, almost 250 years of our experience here.